So I shot a video last week, but and I even edited it, it just never managed to make it up. So I may or may not put that up on the channel later this week, but um, for now, here's this week's video. As far as Halloween, which Kate had asked about, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. Um, my acapella group is having like, a Disney-themed Halloween party, so we're going to like watch Disney movies and all dress up as Disney characters. I just don't know what I'm dressing up as yet, so hopefully I can find a dress that makes sense as something, or I can find a costume or something. Um, and then we're having my like religious group thingy is having like a masquerade ball, so we're all gonna wear masks and have like a dance, and I, I think it's gonna be great. I'm like super excited for that. As far as like trick or treating, I'm probably gonna go with the marching band. Last year we all just went like in our marching band clothes, and like each house we would play a song for. And that's how like, we earned our candy. It's so, like that was really fun last year and I really hope we do it again. As far as Nano, I'm in the exact same boat that I was in last year in the sense that I have three stories. I really have to pick one to work on because for the week that I, or four days or whatever it was that I did it last year, I was just jumping back and forth between the stories. And that's not really productive. I mean, like I was getting stuff written, but like I couldn't tell how much I'd written because it's like across a couple different stories and it wasn't like, really advancing the plot of any of them because I was like working so slowly at each one so I really I want to like I'm determined to pick one of them I might pick the newest one just because it's um it's like no the novelty of it makes it interesting for me to work on although I really really want to work on this story called Nerdfighter Like just because it's called Nerdfighter Like and the main character is based on Emma from Jane Austen so I love that story like passionately so I might work on that too um I, so I don't know what I'm going to do, although, um, as I mentioned in the other video, which I hopefully put up, I'm down to three classes, which is like a, and I wasn't failing anything, it's like for my mental health. Um, so I will have more time than I had last year, plus the baseball season tragically ended early for me. That's why I'm wearing my uh, 2011 Cardinal shirt, because um, I'm super, really superstitious, so um, I felt like I couldn't watch or wear anything related to um, baseball while the playoffs were on and my team was still in. So now that they're out, I feel like I can wear baseball stuff every day. <laughs> Not that I will, but like I could if I wanted to. Um, anyway, now that baseball's over, I'll have a little more time because I was into watching the postseason a little too much. Um, so yeah, I am determined to do it this year. I want you guys to like force me to do it. Um, yeah, like call me, text me, Skype me, Facebook me, twi tweet at me, like Tumblr at, I don't know how you do that but just like contact me all the time and like force me completely force me to do it and i'm i'm more than willing to i just my attention span can sometimes be really short and i'm really afraid that'll happen but hopefully it would work out so just because i am so much i'm curious to know if you guys are superstitious like i was trying to think of something to talk about and it's just like that popped up because it came up earlier when i was filming um like I kind of blame the Cardinals loss on my situation last night because I had a movie screening to go to so I couldn't watch in my normal spot and then there was a girl watching the TV there for the first half hour that I could have been so um, I had to watch somewhere else until she was gone and I'm so superstitious that I feel like that has an effect on the game even though I know like intellectually I know it doesn't I still feel like it does so I feel like it's entirely my fault that they lost even though you know it's like I can't technically affect their batting averages and how they're pitching. It's like, I feel like I'm having a negative effect, which is like, it's, it makes it like, my, my mom was very upset when I mentioned that because she says like, it doesn't make sense. It's completely ridiculous to think that way. But I was wondering like, do you guys have any superstitions, especially, especially like illogical ones? So now that I think about it, I'm not sure that I have any superstitions unrelated to baseball. Most of mine have to do with baseball, so, yeah. I'm not into, like, the normal things, like the throw salt over your shoulder, broken mirror, black cat, like, none of that bothers me, but, you know, if I'm sitting in one position and the Cardinals score a run, I'm going to remain in that position even if it's really uncomfortable until something bad happens and then I'm going to, like, think that, like, I was in that position too long, so I have to change into a new position. Or I'm in the habit of like, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's sirens. Um, like standing on the couch or something ridiculous if I think it's going to help them. So, yeah. DF2BA, guys. 